Hello, my name is Trevor Sullivan. I am a Microsoft MVP for Windows PowerShell and an independent consultant with the Microsoft Azure Public Cloud Platform and PowerShell Automation. I wanted to take a very quick minute to talk to you about .NET enumerations in PowerShell. PowerShell classes added support for the ability to create what are called enumerations. And enumerations are basically just strongly typed objects that we can bind to uh, properties and method return types and other types of things like that. So to create an enumeration we simply use the enum keyword and then we could uh, call it whatever we want. So let's create an enum called fruit. And the purpose of this enum is to hold different types of fruit. So we could have apple, we could have uh, orange, we could have um, pear, and so now we have this enumeration and we can use this to pass around different uh, properties, method parameters, method return types, and so on. So for example, let's say that we have a class called person. And the person can eat, right? So that would be a method because it's something that the person does. So let's uh, create a, a void return value, uh, which means the method's going to return null. And then we're going to call the method eat. Now the when you call the eat method we need to tell the method what the person is eating and we can bind that to the fruit enum and then we'll just call the input parameter food because that's the food that the person's going to eat. So what we can do is just echo some text here and say person ate food. And then we're going to substitute that with the food uh, input parameter. And then we're just going to change the foreground color to green so we can see the text more easily. So now we can instanti instantiate this person class by calling the uh, new method that's inherent, and that calls the default constructor. And we'll assign that new person instance to the person variable. So now what happens if we try to call person.eat and pass in uh, squirrel. So let's try to run this by hitting F5. And what you'll see is that you get an error saying it, it can't convert the uh, food argument with value squirrel because we passed in squirrel as the value to the food parameter. And it says it can't convert squirrel to a type of fruit because we didn't define squirrel inside of our fruit enum. So let's say that a squirrel was a type of fruit, you know, as crazy as it sounds. So we're going to add our squirrel to our fruit enum, and if we rerun this, you now see that the person ate a squirrel. I'd like to take a look at one more example. Um, another example would be, let's say that we have, let's say that we're building a PowerShell class that represents a type of um, tractor trailer, uh, a truck, right, a transport vehicle. So let's build a class called uh, truck, and let's say that it has a type of trailer. Okay, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna add a trailer to it, but we're going to um, bind the trailer type to a very specific set of values, and we're gonna use an enum to do this. So we're going to actually create an enum called trailer type, which doesn't exist yet. And then the truck will have a property called trailer type that is bound to that enum called trailer type. I'm actually going to call this variable or the property type of trailer just to avoid confusion here. So we're going to build the enum using enum trailer type. And then let's uh, you know say that there's a box trailer, a logging trailer, and a custom trailer. And maybe we'll add like a flatbed trailer for transporting cars. So now our truck has a trailer, but it can only have a trailer of the type that's specified in the trailer type enum. So let's create a new truck, and we'll assign it to a variable called new truck. And then we're going to instantiate it by calling the new method, or the new constructor, rather. And then let's try to um, set the type of trailer to um, 
uh, oil container. So if we hit F5 to run that, you'll see an exception appear, and it says it, it failed to set the type of trailer property on the truck instance that we created because it can't convert the oil type to the trailer type, or it can't convert oil to the trailer type. And that's because we don't have an oil type of trailer in our enum. So what we could do instead is either assign it a box trailer, and as you'll see, that work successfully because the box trailer type appears in our uh, trailer type enum. So that's uh, just a really quick video to talk about enumerations in uh, PowerShell. Uh, it was added in I think September 2014 preview of PowerShell version 5 or the Windows Management Framework core package. Um, so make sure that you take advantage of this functionality in your scripts. See you next time.